My daughters are pretty amazing at memory work. Well, kind of. <laughs> my two girls go to a Christian school, so they come home with all these Bible passages that they have to memorize, which I love. And it is shocking to me and my wife how good those little brains are at retaining information. I mean, day after day and week after week, month after month, they can recite passage after passage after passage until I ask them this question, but what does this mean? <laughs> I mean, I love the fact that my kids are memorizing parts of the Bible, but it doesn't mean too much for our daily life unless they actually know what it means. When I ask that question, they tend to look at me like, like Bambi <laughs> in the headlights of a semi. And I don't want you to have the same look when it comes to Christmas. Because there's this incredible passage in the Christmas story from Luke chapter 2. It says, Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. And so we have to be able to ask ourselves, well, what do all those words mean? So we've talked about a Savior, which is a rescuer, that Jesus was born so he gets it, he understands us, uh, that he was born to you, not to other people, but to us personally. And today I want to wrestle with the word Messiah. What does the word Messiah mean? Well, Messiah is a Hebrew word that means the same thing as Christ in the Greek language. Okay, but what does Christ mean? (laughs) Well, Christ literally means the anointed one. That's the same thing as Messiah in Hebrew. It's saying that Jesus, the anointed one, has been born to you. Okay, but (laughs) what does that mean? What's an anointed one? Well, this is where reading the Bible cover to cover can really help. Uh, In the Old Testament, when a new king or a new priest was chosen to watch over the people, they would be anointed with oil. Like oil would be poured out over their heads. It was kind of a weird sacred ceremony to let everyone know that this was like the set-apart, selected, chosen one. Might be the best way in modern English to really understand that. The Messiah or the Christ is the chosen one. And so when the angel said to the shepherds, Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah. They were declaring, this is God's chosen one. The one chosen to save, to forgive, to die on the cross and rise from the dead to make you right with God. And that's why actually being called a Christian is an incredible thing. You know, if Christ means chosen one, then Christian literally means a little chosen one. Which is what the Bible says about you. (laughs) That if you're a believer in Jesus, if, if you follow this Messiah, that you have been chosen, set apart by God for a sacred purpose. Listen to this great scripture from 2 Corinthians chapter 1. It says, He, God, anointed us, set his seal of ownership on us, and put his spirit in our hearts as a deposit, guaranteeing what is to come. God set us apart. He anointed us with the Holy Spirit. Which is incredible news, isn't it? Like, when you're a chosen one, when someone chooses you for a date, when someone chooses to comment on a social media post, when your boss chooses to give you the promotion, like you know how good it feels to be chosen. So think about this. You've been chosen by God. If you're a Christian, you're connected to Christ. And it means just like Jesus was chosen to be a savior of the world, you have been chosen to be saved by that savior. That's really great news. And that is what Christmas means. Let's pray. Uh, Dear Jesus, our, our week would be transformed if our boss or someone in our family chose to reach out to us in love. If they chose to give us that promotion, chose to give us that gift, we'd talk about it. It would be such good news. So help us to believe the fact that you have chosen us is even better news. You chose us to be saved. You chose us to be part of your family. You chose to cleanse us and forgive us and make us right with you. You chose to give us a place in heaven. And so we rejoice in the Christmas story. We rejoice in everything that it means for us. Help it sink deeper into our hearts this season more than ever before. We pray this all in the name of your chosen one and as your chosen ones. Amen. Did you enjoy this video? Well, we would love to share with you so much more. Just click here.